it's like it is that transmutation piece right but you're using this time space energy to create and you're going to be so you're going to look back and be like that was the biggest blessing in my life that was the biggest you, trust me you are going to look back because you wouldn't be doing what you're about to be doing if that didn't happen <laughs> Hi Virgos. Hi. Thank you for joining my channel. My name is Amanda. I welcome you if you're new here and if you're a subscriber. Thank you, darling. Good morning, good day, and good afternoon. I'm doing a love reading, Virgo. What do you need to know in love, darlings? What is the collective energy? That is way too many cards. We're not doing all those. We just need one spark. One. If you want to be uh, entered into my giveaway, I do a monthly uh, definitely subscribe, like, and comment on a video, and your name will be entered. The more you do this, the more times your name will be entered for that month. So if it's March, and you watch five videos, and you do that on all five, your name will be entered at the end of the month to win a free reading with mom. This is a timeless love reading. Whenever this comes across, you know, lucky freaking you, okay? <laughs> Let's see what messages we have. Woo, man, forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past. I have so many chills. You experience more love in your present moments. This is transformation, letting go of the old and allowing the new to flow in. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I just did a private reading and it was all about this. So I guess the collective is going through it, huh? All right, let's get you some tarot cards. This is a beautiful tarot deck. This is the star tarot. And I love it because the imagery is beautiful. I've had this deck for years and I've never really used it. I think maybe I used it once and I'm like, what's wrong with me? I, I'm glad to see this for you, Virgos, because there's there's this new passionate beginning starting for you. Uh, it could be in love, but it could just be in life. Uh, some kind of inspiration. Wands are all about insp inspired ideas. Um, <laughs> and so I feel like you could, I mean, this is a love reading. So uh, for some of you, this could be a new love connection coming through. You do have your guard up, although you're using your discernment on who you allow in and what you put your energy towards. So it's one of those things like um, with the Nine of Swords, it's like when you're like, I, and let me give you an example. I don't watch TV. Like I don't watch, the, I haven't watched the news in probably, I don't know, God maybe 20 years. I don't know. I don't watch the news, right? Like I don't need that kind of energy. Like I'm mindful of what comes in, what comes into my space and what doesn't. Um, music, even though I like, I like a lot of rap music, but anyway. Um, but music, all those kind of things. I'm mindful of the lyrics and what I'm feeding my soul. And that's what this nine of wands card is giving me is just being mindful of what you're allowing into your energy space because you have, need to protect it at all costs. The Empress came out in reverse. So you're not feeling very grounded. It's this energy of healing. Uh, with the Empress here, she is always birthing something new. And right now things are on pause. Interesting because this opportunity is here for you to birth something new. This is all about inspired action. This is all about ideas and passion and moving forward and new opportunities, right? So it's like feeling very grounded. You're not feeling like maybe at this point in time you want to birth anything new. It's like you... <laughs> You need to steadfast and just kind of stay where you're at right now. There's like a pause. There's been a pause. But with that being said, first card that came out, and this is all fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. This is fast. This is quick. This is like burning desire. If there is something that has been on your mind, like a burning desire to do something, or you've been thinking about it, Spirit is telling you to move forward with that. And in that particular card, there's like lightning bolts like now 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 so even though you're at a pause there's something being told to like move now move what else do they need to know spirit this is a lot of reading forgiving and learning yeah i you know this empress was taken advantage of and and that's why she's just not feeling very empressy 
I don't know if empressy is a word, but I made it up and you know what I mean. <laughs> she's just not. She's not feeling like birthing new. She's she's not she's just not in that energy right now. Just not in that she he take it out of the resonates. It's just because I say she. I'm just reading the energy from the card. I'm gonna take this one. Yeah. So the Nine of Cups is one of the happiest, is one of the happiest cards in the deck. It's about, and this came out in reverse. So it's about love. It's about feeling at ease and joy. And, and it's like the flow state and just abundance and happy. And it's like kick back and throw up your feet and it's wishes coming true. I mean, and this is like wishes being broken. This is sadness when it's in reverse. And so, so it's feeling defeated in, in, in her and unfulfilled, but yet it's right under this ace, right? And so it's like, you may be feeling hurt over this love situation and unfulfilled and just awful, but it's like the universe is sending you something that is inspiring to your heart and soul. And with that, it is going to allow you to process this more easily. It's like this brand new. So this isn't something you've done before. It's something brand new with this Ace of Wands. And it's something that you know about, that you're conscious of, whether you realize it or not. And Spirit is giving you that to move forward, to help you forgive and learn and release. Sometimes, you know, sometimes I think it's a bad thing to get completely distracted. And then sometimes it's a good thing, right? Especially if you're starting something new. Uh, it can be a really exciting time because you're just, you're able to focus on something else, number one. Uh, but number two, this, this is being handed to you from the divine with this opportunity. And it just, it's coming in quickly. Like, it's coming in fast. And there, like, you're going to know it. It's going to be so obvious. Okay. Yeah. So we have the Seven of Wands here. You're putting up a guard. He's also covering his heart, protecting his heart. You've had to be really strong. And that's why you, you've been using this discernment with this Nine of Wands here. And... Um, you know, just being on alert because you have to, somebody has to protect you, right? It's got to be you. You got to protect yourself. You have to be aware. You have to be vigilant and, um, but don't be too hyper vigilant. Also, you know, there's a fine line to everything, the ebb and flow and the balance. Uh, we also have this ace of pentacles that came out here. Um, it came out in reverse, but I'm reading it both ways. And I'm going to tell you why, because I think when, whatever the situation was that is over, that has left you heartbroken and wishes not coming true and unfulfillment and no ease and actually destruction. Um, I, I think, I think you lost some kind of financial, um, maybe you lost money in this disconnection, maybe you lost, and especially with this empress in reverse, um, you lost some kind of financial gain. And so I'm reading it that way in reverse, but I also am reading it upright in the sense that there is this new opportunity ahead and it has to do because we have two aces now with the ace of wands and the ace of pentacles here. So we have two opportunities here of this new beginning. And so whatever this inspired action is that source is telling you in spirit, God, whatever you believe in Jesus is telling you to move forward to that you are hearing that you are knowing within your soul, you should move forward with that because it is going to pay off for you big time. It's going to give you a sense of independence. It's also going to be very fruitful for you, obviously, with independence. But um, look at this particular card. I mean, it's beautiful. It, it's like you're webbing your, 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 webbing your web. 
Does that make sense? You're webbing your web. I don't know, but you're, you're creating all this newness because this is like a whole new, it's a whole new space. It's a whole new world. It's a whole new beginning. And it, 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 it's hard as it is and as hurtful as it has been with this nine of cups in reverse and w just devastating, you use this to your advantage. It's like, it is that transmission piece, right? But you're using this time, space, energy to create. And you're going to be so, you're going to look back and be like, that was the biggest blessing in my life. That was the biggest, you, trust me, you are going to look back because you wouldn't be doing what you're about to be doing if that didn't happen. It's going to be whatever that was, it is going to be whatever that forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Absolutely. And it's more self-love. Does it get better than self-love? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. This has taught you so much self-love. This has taught you what it's like to have self-love for yourself. This is what's taught you to trust your intuition. This is what's taught you to move forward and you can do things on your own and you don't need anybody else. This has taught you to trust yourself, to listen, listen within, to find yourself again. Some of you may not have even ever sat truly in yourself. And, and I don't mean that as a bad thing. So please don't take it that way. But I, I mean it is where you've really been solo and had to really sit in yourself and have this whole self-awareness and purpose and and all of that. Like, I, I think some of you haven't. There's definitely a lot of strength here, a lot of courage. Uh, but most importantly, be grateful for the things that happen even though they don't seem like they're for your greatest and highest good at the time. All right, guys, that's what I've got for you. I, I, I don't got my, you know what? Let me get some clarifiers. Let me get some clarifiers. Let's clarify this. What else do we need to know? Who is this Virgo? Yeah, Virgo. What else do you need to know, Virgo? Yeah. I just like getting clarifiers more for you. <laughs> So that it, it, it confirms, it confirms the things that I'm saying to you. It, it, it confirms to me that what I'm saying to you is the right things, which I know it is because it's given to me by a higher divine spirit. Uh, but with that being said, the cards that came out was the Wheel of Fortune. And so this is about a whole new beginning. The table's turning. Cycles. It's about endings and beginnings. The wheel is always turning. It's the circle of life, right? The circle of life. Um, and what is most beautiful that came out of this, and I told you, this is about your own love and purpose. You are going to be feeling so fulfilled and accomplished. And uh, the, this is my cup runneth over. So happy and so proud when you look back at where you come from and the choices you made and how you handled things. And not only that, what you've created. Because this is this is just overflowing. You go from this nine of cups, Virgo, of wishes not coming true and heartbreak and devastation and emotional despair. Okay, that's what this is. All the way to a brand new beginning in love. In love, self-love, it can be a connection that's going to happen. But this is your cup runneth over and it's an emotional new beginning we have three new beginning cards and the Wheel of Fortune, okay? So we have the Ace of Wands. What was the other Ace? The Ace of Pentacles. So inspiration moving forward in that. Ideas, creativity. Ace of Pentacles, money, new opportunities, building a new foundation. And an emotion? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I have a feeling this all has to do with how you're going to feel within yourself. But these opportunities are available to you. So what are you going to do, Virgos? Are you going to move forward and press ahead? Because there is beautiful, beautiful opportunities on the horizon. And just, just learn forgiveness and forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. I don't think you need to forgive yourself, but have forgiveness for yourself. Because uh, this connection was strong. 
And so healing is going to take time. And so giving yourself time to heal. It's exactly, it's exactly what this card says. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. And that's exactly what this Ace of Cups is. It's like this love and abundance and your cup runneth over. And you realize like how far you've come. You realize how far, and, and it's like, yeah, I, I did this and I could do this all along and I had it all in me. And not only that, you're such a, you found out who you were and w what you can achieve and what you can do. And that, that's the greatest gift of all, you know? <laughs> so that's all I got for you. Hopefully this resonated with some of you, all of you, one of you. <laughs> if not though, definitely subscribe if you want to be a part of this high vibe tribe. Also, uh, if you don't want to miss any of my readings, hit that bell. And if you want to be a part of the giveaway, I talked about that in the beginning, my monthly giveaway for the reading. And other than that, this is your love reading for whenever you see it. I am sending you all my love, light, and sprinkles, and I have, hope you have the most fabulous day.